Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, June 25th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through one of the interesting differences between Object Studio Classic, meaning anything from 713 backwards in time, and Object Studio 8 and up, up to 8.1 and the upcoming release of 8.2. It has to do with the way dictionaries work. Here I have a dictionary that I'm creating at foo put bar, at symbol foo put baz, and this is an Object Studio Classic 713. So let's go ahead and inspect this code and see what happens. Small Talk, inspect. And you see I get one entry, the baz. And that's because in dictionary lookups in Object Studio Classic, string foo and symbol foo evaluate to the same object. And that's distinctly different than what happens in Object Studio 8. So let's bring over my Object Studio 8 image here. I've got running. And what we'll do is we'll execute the same exact code. And we'll do a small talk inspect on that. And you see here we get two entries, as you would expect if you're a VisualWorks user or even a Squeak user, an old VSC user. Uh, VA user or anything else, pretty much it's going to operate this way. You get the string foo and the symbol foo evaluate to two different entries in my dictionary. This is the way things work going forward. If you have an existing classic application you're migrating to 8, this is something you probably need to be aware of. If you make use of dictionaries in, a, in any kind of reasonable way and you have relied on this behavior, you may not have relied on this behavior and it may not be a problem for you at all. But if you've relied on this either explicitly or implicitly, it's something you need to be aware of. What you may want, want to do is go ahead and derive your own custom subclass of dictionary that preserves the old behavior and then go ahead and replace all of your dictionary accesses in your own code with your custom dictionary, leaving the system dictionary alone because everything will work fine within the system code and then just replacing your accesses with your new OS7 classic dictionary, say, that preserves the old behavior. So. That's just a brief look at how things differ a little bit in one key area between Object Studio Classic and Object Studio 8, something to be aware of. So until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.